Camtasia gives you loads of different ways to start your videos, which is so important, particularly if you're on a YouTube channel. So you could be on the screen like this. You could also do something really simple like this with just using your webcam and use Camtasia Rev. Of course, you can just add an interesting background onto the screen, add some of the text, as many text effects, and then simply record your voice using the voice narration in Camtasia. And this gives you lots of options and lots of freedom in the way that you set up your introduction. So in today's video, we're gonna do precisely that. I'm gonna show you how you can make really nice introductions by having a background, text, and then add in voice narration. You can use the library assets in Camtasia and can really do this quickly and very creatively. One final thing, if you do happen to see this video before the 30th of April 2024, I am giving a presentation for TechSmith Camtasia where I'll be looking at using Camtasia to make educational videos. Now, of course, this would be relevant to anyone, not just to people making educational videos in Camtasia. You do need to register for this event. I'll put the link below in the description. I'll also put a QR code up on the screen. And it's also possible that if you register but don't attend, you will receive a recording of the event as well. Right, let's get started. What I want you to see today is just how quick this whole process is, how creative and quickly you can produce a really high quality introduction. And Camtasia facilitates the whole process. In other words, the background, the text, and of course the audio. So if we come over to the Camtasia library, you'll notice that you've got something called dynamic backgrounds and something called dynamic fields. And these are perfect for backgrounds to go in your introductory video. Now, I like these dynamic backgrounds, but the fields are also good fun. And what I like about them, and there are many, many of them, is that they are actually we can actually edit them and work with them. So if, for example, I drag this one onto the screen, so this becomes my background and I'm gonna put my text over the top and then add my voice. But what I can do is come over to the properties here on the right hand side and say, well, actually, I wanna use a different color. And I could just update and choose a completely different color if I wanted to. I'm actually gonna undo that because I quite like the color that we've got here. But I just wanted to show you that. Now, of course, you've got many of these backgrounds okay and you can look at which one you want to work with and remember they're all completely editable but we've already got our background now on the screen I'm just going to show you one other brilliant thing about these backgrounds is that they're stretchable so if you want that background to be on the screen for 50 seconds or 60 seconds you can just pull it out and make it longer now obviously if you use a video as a background you are restricted to the length of that video and you would need to obviously put multiple copies of the video on the timeline if you needed it to be any longer Longer. But with these dynamic backgrounds, and this is one of the reasons I like them so much, you can stretch them right out. Just a little trick as well to keep in mind, you can always drag two backgrounds on and then the second one you could edit to be another color and that can also work and this is something you see me often do is that i swap around my backgrounds during the video okay let's move on to the text now the obvious thing to do is again to work with the fantastic text options that are available in camtasia i love them i use them all the time if you scroll down again in the camtasia library and come down to titles there are a some preset defined ones. They are, again, all the properties are editable and you can choose the moment when you want that text to come on the screen. So let's say right at the beginning, I'm gonna bring some text onto the screen and I'll use this one here. I'm gonna drag it onto the screen. And of course, again, the properties here are on the right hand side. So if I just play this so you just see, so we've got here create, teach and inspire. Now, we can edit anything. So for example, if I actually wanted to click and change the color of the word inspire and choose a different color, so let's say I want something a little bit brighter, well, I could do that. So now we've got, if I just click on it, you've got create, teach, and inspire. Now, of course, what I can also do is change the size. I can change the actual font as well. So if I wanted to use a different font, for example, for that part, then I can do that as well. So these texts, these kind of preset texts with animations in them are totally and utterly editable. And this is what I really like. Let's just drag one more onto the screen so you can see. So I can bring another one on here. I'll place it onto the screen at this point. Let's just play that one. Again, we've got a nice animation taking place. This is one again that I often use. You can come over to the properties 
and of course you can play around with all the properties of course you can change the text completely so if you want to say something else for example i'm going to write here this is easy and it really is easy and notice that you can separately work with the text of each of those three words so i can change any of the aspects and click to come back and go to the second one make some changes here so i'm going to make this for example lighter and then I click back and then i come to the last one and again i might choose it like this to get this kind of effect totally editable we've now got our text on the screen uh, again we can just place this anywhere if you're going to use that text again that whole kind of animation again you can just copy it and then move it to another part of the screen and then paste it in that's also another option and so you can really uh, and then of course you would just again just change the actual text inside of the animation so let's just leave these two on the screen now let's just say we're trying to build our introduction the last and final thing is to add the audio and the way that Camtasia works with the narration is superb and I find it very easy just a super quick break from the video if you do want to download Camtasia I've put a link in the description below you can download and try it out for free you can also access a free six-part course in Camtasia and there are links also if you want to buy Camtasia and my links provide you with an additional discount so coming down to the options here on the left hand side the one that we're looking for you might need to click on more depending on your screen size is voice narration now one thing to watch out for when you do the voice narration is make sure you've got the right microphone connected okay so in this case i want to use a different microphone to the one that i'm using to record with you so i'm going to use this microphone here and then make sure you've got your playhead ready at the beginning and then it's really a question and you'll see that the actual playhead moves along as you're adding your voice so you know exactly where you are just clicking on this button here so good morning ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to look at how you can be creative using Camtasia to produce really superb high quality introductory videos with animation on the screen and changing backgrounds etc click on stop click on save now, I don't have to record the whole thing I can always move the playhead now to the next part where I decide I want to carry on with the audio but that is now done let's just quickly play that back and see how it's come out so let's just play that video back I'm just going to click here so good morning ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to look at how you can be creative now the audio quality won't be very good because I had to use another microphone for the recording because I'm using my microphone, my main microphone to record with you. And now we've already got ourselves an animation on the background or a background with an animation, with the text, with the audio, everything is ready. One final thing you could think about doing, which is something I often do, and I'm just going to select all the objects on the screen and move it up one level, is again making use of the Camtasia library. So if we jump back here, it's sometimes nice to have kind of background audio and you've got a few choices here, okay? So you could drag, for example, let's put this one onto the screen, put it on the bottom uh, level, bottom track. Now, one thing you will need to do with the introduction is to make sure you soften it. You're gonna soften it right down because you only want the music to be at a certain level. And where the animation finishes as well, you're gonna to need to shorten the animation, okay, to make sure that the uh, audio and the animation match. And then if you play this. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and today we're gonna to look at how you can be creative. You can just see how quickly you can make a really nice intro. Now let's just finish this off. Let's imagine then our intro lasts until here. What you would do probably is first of all, cut the rest out. So you're gonna cut out the rest because you don't want that background or the music plan after the intro but then the final thing you might do and again Camtasia really facilitates is come down and this one you want to choose audio effects and you want the music to fade out so just drop that at the end and so once the animation's finished and your intro's finished then the music will fade out and then you're ready to start the main part of the video it really is that easy and that's how I often make my introductions for my own Camtasia videos Okay, really hope you found that video useful. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's loads more free videos. We even have a special section 
of Camtasia videos and there's loads of content there. Remember, if you see this video before the 30th of April, 2024, I am giving a free webinar on working with Camtasia. I look at educational videos, but this would be relevant to anyone working with Camtasia. I'm gonna take you through how I make my educational videos and lots of tips and lots of tricks. All you need to do is to click here and you do need to register. Now, if you register but don't attend, you will still receive a copy of the webinar. So that could be really useful. And finally, if you really wanna follow my work, and of course I do lots of content on Camtasia and also other educational products, my specialization is the use of technology in education, then please sign up to the newsletter. There are around about 12,000 subscribers now and you get updated with all the latest videos and the webinars and the blogs and of course all the new Camtasia videos that I upload. And finally, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now about Camtasia that you might find useful. And thank you very much.